Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Chris Chavez here with Fanjoy.com and I wanted to <laughs> show you guys or today I have a really cool application from the Google Play Store. It's a free application called SF Launcher Alpha. Now this is a launcher or home screen replacement that mimics I guess the design or UI of Google Now. So if you have an Android device that's running Jelly Bean on up, chances are you don't because not too many of you are. Uh, Google actually replaced the typical search function with this new Google Google Now app and it has a unique design. It's actually different as you can see here. Here it is. It's actually a lot different than what you may be used to just from Google's um, Hollow UI that was introduced on Honeycomb, uh, Ice Cream Sandwich, everything on up. And it has like a nice little header section here. You have your little Google Now search bar where you can search or use voice stuff to do junk and then it actually searches like your emails and updates you on information in the background which is pretty nice. But anyways, it's the design that actually looks really, really cool. Very simple, very lighthearted, very um, fun, hip. <laughs> and just very different. It's not, I guess, the cold and Tron UI from Hollow UI. So, SF Launcher decided to kind of mimic that whole design by releasing this launcher that kind of looks very, very similar to it. Let me just go ahead and open it. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. But here it is right here. So, you can see it has the little header, typical or from Google UI that you may have seen just a few seconds ago. You have the time here, the date, uh, and then yet right here you have swipeable widgets. So, you can place some widgets there and uh, just swipe through them. Clicking add will allow you to uh, or pull up your full list of widgets that you have installed on your device and you can just select select whichever ones you like. Uh, if, if you choose a, like a 4x4 widget it actually is only going to show you a 4x1 or 4x2. I think it's like 4x1 widget no matter what you do so uh, better to choose one of the longer ones. But you can see here swipeable. Right here you have your favorites so this would be kind of like your typical home screen where you would just grab an application and drop it onto your home screen. This will be all your little favorites there. Swipe over here, you have your app drawer, which just scroll up and down. So not the pignated style that you are the um, left and right with the card stacks that you might be used to if you have, uh, I guess depending on what phone you have. If we swipe over here to the left, whoop, you have all your settings. So uh, to get actually your applications from here to your little favorite section, you just hold on one and then you would click add to favorites. Uh, my only complaint is that they're not alphabetized. So if you want them alphabetized, you're probably going to have to um, add them according to uh, how you want them placed on here. A little bit frustrating, actually super frustrating to me because I have OCD and it's just, uh, it's absolutely bothering me that they're not all alphabetized there. Um, to get them off, you would just long press them again and then you would remove favorite. Uh, same thing with the widgets up here, long press, remove widget. So uh, pretty, pretty simple. I think I would actually rather have a drag and drop interface just like you would on a typical Android home screen. Uh, I don't know if the developer can implement that or if they really want to because I guess they don't really like to. Uh, swiping is actually a little bit annoying to me because if you let go it just kind of swipes all slow like. like uh, and, uh, uh. Even if you swipe fast it doesn't swipe faster it just kind of like whoop, eases on into it but I guess you could just do full swipes. Uh, it's kind of stupid to complain about, but that's just me. So all the settings are right here. You have general, and you can actually choose a theme. So on Sense phones, like this wonderful HTC Droid DNA that I have in my hands, it's actually got uh, this ugly, well not ugly, but it has a nice dark uh, little bar up here, and it just kind of bothers me how it doesn't blend in with the white and all that. So you can actually choose a dark theme, and or set it for auto if you would like. Auto would actually change it according to the time of day. Um, let push back to exit out of there. So you can see here, nice black UI here. Looks pretty snazzy, and it matches the little black bar up there at the top, which I th really, really helps me and my uh, my OCD. So this little actually the header actually changes according to the time of day, and you can set that right here in the header settings. And again, if you set it the theme to auto, it'll change the theme according to the time of day. So if it's nighttime, it'll show you the dark theme. If it's daytime, it'll show you the white theme. Pretty cool. City, there's only three cities to choose from. So you have San Francisco, Lundo, London, or generic Lundo. Uh, I'm just going to call it Lundo from now on, I guess. It's, uh, in generic, it just shows you the mountains like you have up there, which I have on mine because I live close to the mountains. So let's exit out of here. You can choose a dawn start time, day start time. So these are the, all the different header uh, times of days that will display, and you can adjust those times accordingly to where you live. Widgets doesn't do anything. I've clicked it a million times. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some options there later. Favorites, you can actually change the favorites, which is just that little, um, your little row of your favorite apps that you place there, the icons. You can change it according to the number of icons, uh, icon size, label lines. Label lines are the uh, the names of the apps, so the little uh, names of the apps that show there along the bottom, and you can um, adjust it so you can show zero for no label or two lines, um, how much space you want in between, and then the text size itself. So 
I'll go ahead and increase the text size and I'll show you. Normally these actually, ooh, that looks horrible and they're wrapping over. Uh, normally these uh, icons don't have labels underneath them, but you can, if you like to, you can uh, give them labels like that. Number of columns, these are your favorites, so you can also adjust the number of columns in your favorite section, or not your favorites, your, um, this is favorites, and then the other one, oh, app list. So same thing also with the app list which is this section here, um, or app drawer. So you can see swiping is just kind of a little bit weird on it, but it is alpha and it's super, super early. The developer has actually been updating this thing like crazy since it released, which wasn't too long ago. It only has 68 downloads. So you guys can download it and try it out if you want to try something new for a new launch you like that minimal Google Now UI interface. I think it's actually pretty cool. I'll probably keep it on my phone for a little while and see how I, um, Maybe once they get alphabetized in there, I don't think I can handle not having that. But for now, that's just a quick look at SF Launcher Alpha from Alamo Apps. I'm Chris Chavs with Android.com. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.